Hello, football fans around the globe. Welcome to the Week 9 Results Show. Coming to you live from Palm City, Florida. It's our Jimmy Buffett M. All right, all right, all right. First of all, I'd like to uh, congratulate uh, D uh, for stomping all over Kevin Monday night. Uh, that was a heck of a game, and I mean one heck of a game. Uh, it, it came down to Monday night. It came down to the second half. It came down to the fourth quarter with minutes left. <laughs> Not like I stayed up to watch it, but you know what? Uh, Philly thought they had it wrapped up, and <laughs> Chicago, Chicago, the Bears, the Bears came through. What a defense them Chicago Bears have. But you know what? I, I got to give uh, D credit. Uh, not too many people picked Chicago. Most of us went with Philly, uh, some way more than others. And all I got to do is look down at the bottom feeders this week to tell you who those are, including yours truly. Uh, but D, you know, she... She made a heck of a, a, a pick there with Chicago with nine. I mean, um, most people, all right, I take that back. Rebecca uh, Peitch had 11 on them. I mean, uh, uh, most, Michelle felt she had four, but everybody else had, had Philly. I mean, it was a heck of a week to pick that upset because I know Philly was favored in Philly, and there was no way in God's green earth that the Bears were going to win that game, but they did. And D came out the champion of week nine. Doggy. It was a, it was a dog fight though. I mean, she pulled in 97 points. Poor Kevin. He's watching from DC. Him and his lovely fiance, Michelle, cooking them steaks, drinking them brewskis, watching the Bears against the Eagles. And you know what? I know Philly's uh, Kevin was jumping up and down on the couch every time Philly scored, but uh, what was he doing when uh, uh, Bick got intercepted? <laughs> Michelle was jumping up and down on the couch. I know, I know. Okay, so good try, Kevin. I hope I didn't jinx you by by uh, uh, previewing D doing her victory dance, um, but that's the way it goes. That's the way it goes. Uh, D, again, congratulations. Uh, 97 points. Kevin pulls in second with a 95. Then we got Big Dane with 94. Mary, Bell, Mary Beth Nielsen <laughs> deserves another drink. Mary Beth Nielsen Schmielsen comes in with a 93. Rebecca Peitch comes in with a 90. I mean, look at these scores. 92. Michelle Felt, 91. I mean, she, she made the top five or six for week nine. Denise, you know, anytime you see Denise up in the top ten, you know it was Upset City. You know it was Upset City. Followed, uh, uh, Adam Winter, followed Denise, uh, then Dave, who was, is ready to give up football completely. Uh, and then, uh, Dave's mom, Sherry, she comes in with an 86. And that's just pretty much rounding out the top 10. So, good job, everybody. Uh, I mean, the, the whole weekend was full of upsets. And I'm, and I'm gonna scroll down to the bottom of the pack here, and we're gonna see Art Peach. Art Peach and his wife Rebecca. Rebecca came in fifth. Art came in dead last with a 57. <laughs> 57. Art, right, good job, buddy. Letting your wife walk all over your face. Who's just ahead of Art Peach? Is my dear brother Glenn. Glenn. Glenn comes in with a 58. Not too much better. Is Jerry W. Jerry W, a 60. He ought to be ashamed. Then there's Sean, 67. Seven points ahead of Jerry W. Then Ed, Big Ed. Mr. Ed says he's going to kick everybody's you-know-what. Ends up fifth from the bottom. <laughs> then there's Dan. And then there's me. I know, I sucked. I just truly sucked this week. Of course, I had 15 on Pittsburgh and 16 on Philly. You're not going to win nothing picking like that. Terrible picker. 
and Marty's right ahead of me, and I could go right up the list. But you know what? A lot of the top people didn't do good. Deb Warmer, Skirk in 75, what the heck? Oh, is she still in third place? I don't know. We'll know. We'll soon find out. Then there's Warren's up there. Okay. We're just ahead of Warren with uh, 78. Is tied. Tied with Warren. Matthew Munro, our leader. And then Mike Winter. And then Maddie Jack, 79. So, you know, JM, week eight winner, 79. You know, the scores just suck this week. Just suck. Bob. Big Bob, 81. Daughter Katie, 83. Oh, you know, there was upsets when Katie's up there. But, okay, enough of that. Let's uh, let's go to the standings and check them out. All right, here we go. Big Matt is in the top spot still. When when are we going to lose this guy being in the top spot? Come on. All right, there's Matt. Matty Jack is still in second. Now, uh, the sun is so blinding down here in Florida, I, I'm, I'm reluctant to take my glasses up because, you know, that sun is just killer. <sighs> okay. We're going to anyway. Oh, oh, oh man. Oh, 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 that sun. Wow. Woo. All right. So, anyway, back to the standings. Matt, 893. Matty Jackie, 882. Matt's got 11 point lead on Grandma Moth. Then Deb, she's still in third. God bless her with a 75. All right, 876, but guess who just jumped right behind Deb? It's D with that week nine win of 97 smackers. She's up there in fourth place, 871. Charlie McCune drops to fifth. JM drops to sixth with a 79. Then there's Mike, and then there's Kurt. Then Mary Beth Nielsen Schmielsen, followed by Tommy G. So it looks like Dane dropped out of the top 10. Yes, he's officially in, in 11th. So uh, I tell you, it's really tightened up. Now is the time for everybody to concentrate, which reminds me, which reminds me, week 10 is the start of Thursday night football on the NFL Network. So we got to pay attention. Now, I think what happened at the beginning of the season when we had the season kick off with a Thursday night game, uh, you guys were able to just pick that game, and then it, that game was locked. But come Sunday, you were still able to pick the rest. So you didn't have to pick the whole shebang. Now, if I'm wrong, if uh, all of a sudden, you know, I've lost my mind and can't remember back to week one, which <laughs> very well could be uh, somebody kicked me. I mean, somebody remind me that um, maybe that was the case. But uh, if I'm remembering correctly, you still got to pick Thursday night game, but you don't have to pick them all. So that's that's a plus for all you guys. So so remember, we got Thursday night action again starting this Thursday, two days from now. Okay, so that, uh, that being said... Um, I, I'm pleased to uh, uh, say that I've gotten more checks in, and I appreciate it. I appreciate it very much. Um, Brittany Monroe sent me her money. Mike Winter and Charlie McEwen sent me their money. Uh, that's right, right on the heels of JM sending me his money. So you know what? Uh, I think we only we got less than half the pool not paid, which is I think outstanding. Now I do remember saying that week nine. That was the deadline, you know, if uh, I didn't receive your money by week nine, well, then, you know, you would see the boys pull up around the corner, come out with their billy clubs, ready to break somebody's legs. So just remember, uh, I'm not paying anybody until I get money from everybody. I know it, it seems a little wacky, but it's the only way to keep it straight. I got to be consistent here. You send me money, and if you win, I pay you, okay? But you pay me first, okay? Then I pay you. All right? That sounds fair? All right. All right. So, um, new business also is um, my daughter Sarah had her baby the other night, just the other night. Baby girl, all healthy. Uh, last I heard, they still didn't name it. So, 
uh, mystery name baby is doing good. Mom's doing good. So uh, I know we got a couple more coming down the road uh, with uh, Katie and um, uh, I, don't know, I don't know who else all pregnant. You know, I, it doesn't matter. We're we're playing football here. Come on, let's play football. All right, so that's it. So hasta la vista, baby. Ciao.